Hey everyone, how are you? So, I have a small haul and Nana came to town, my mom came to town, and um, whenever mom comes to town, we go thrifting. So, I'm going to show you what she gifted me when we went thrifting. So, um, we're in the garage and that's okay because we have our new to us, our new little cottage home, and we are loving it. We're loving being out here. We're loving the space. Um, you know, it's a small cottage, but I feel like it's pretty roomy. So um, we're just really happy that um, we've been blessed and able to be out here. So um, we still have a lot of work to do in the house. We're doing things little by little, and um, there will be some projects and some of these items are for um, decor in the house. So as we get rooms together, then you will see these items popping up um, throughout the little house. So let's go ahead and get started. Let me get some coffee. And we'll get started. So the first two items that I picked out are... Well, okay, let me just go with what's on top so I don't break anything. So I picked out this glass juice strainer. No, it's just a juicer. It's not a strainer. So it has a handle, like a little tab to hold it, and then it has a spout here. And it's just a simple vintage glass juicer. So I've been looking for these and wanting to get one and just kind of taking my time picking one out in this one. I like, so I picked this one. And then... I collect this pattern of vintage glass and I found these two together. So this is the bowl. It's kind of like a little fruit bowl size. And um, let's see, it has that, I don't know if this is cubist. I don't remember what this is called, but this is the pattern I collect. And sitting with it on top was this, oops, there's a, there's a ladybug or something. Um, this lid. So I don't have any of these pieces and I think it's a luminary, like it makes a fairy light. I could be wrong about that, but that's okay. So they fit together and um, I could put a tea light in here or I could even use it as a vase with just, you know, a little bit of water. So I thought that would be a cute little rose vase. So yes, and it's a little bit dark in here. So I turned the brightness up on my camera. So that's why things look a little bit washed out. Um, so yes, so I got those items as well. Let me try not to break anything. Well, there you go. I didn't break it. Okay, and then I also purchased this. It says it's a trivet. I don't think it's a trivet, but that's okay. Um, it's microwave and dishwasher dishwasher safe. You could totally use it as a trivet. So it's this little ceramic. Um, piece. I don't know. You can put a candle in the middle. You can lean up against the wall. Um, so I just thought it was pretty. I like, I do like green and, um, yeah. So I purchased this. This is new. This is a new item. California Pantry is the trademark. Classic Ceramics 2009. So yeah, not even vintage. It's new, but I like it. Okay. So what I'm really excited to show you is the next two items. It's a pair of items. Um, I have, I, I like many different styles, but I don't like all of one style. So it's been a little bit challenging trying to figure out how to decorate the cottage. So my poor mom, she's like, oh, look at this, or oh, look at that. Cause I'll say, oh, I really like this style. And so she's like, okay. And then I'm like, yeah, but I don't like that. So <laughs> she's so patient with me. Um, so we were getting ready to leave this thrift store. And I just kind of like went around the, I was like taking, a, you know, take another lap. Just want to double check. I didn't miss anything. So I look up and I'm like, oh, wow. Let me show you what I see. A pair. Of. Now these are vintage. A 
pair, they're lamps. And they're sconces? I don't know. They're, they're wall lamps. Um, and they need some work, and that's okay. So I haven't even cleaned them up. But here they are. It's supposed to be hung like this. Well, I guess you could hang it either way. So they're, you know, they're vintage, but it's okay. So I think that I am going to, I think I'm going to hang them this way. Now, somebody might have wired this themselves. I'm not going to be wiring them. I'm not going to be plugging them in, um, but they put a switch on here. And there will be a hole if I take the switch out. I might leave the switch and just like cut this and just hide everything, but I'm going to hang them this way. Oh, and you can kind of see them lit up a little bit. So in looking at, so this has a sticker. It says, you know, it's made in China, so it's new. And then this says, there's a sticker here. It says 2010-02. So does anybody know, does that mean that that's the year, it was the month and the year it was manufactured in February of 2010? So, yes, but I love them. They look old, you know, they're, they're fashioned after a Tiffany style lamp. And this is called, I looked it up last night. Oh, Honeysuckle Wisteria. I have to look, but see it has the dark blue and then it has the lavender. And I just think they're gonna be so pretty. Originally, I purchased them for um, my hallway. My bathroom hallway does not have, I can't pick the other one up carefully. Um, it doesn't have a light in it, which is odd to me. So originally I was gonna, um, I purchased these for that area, but there's no way to hang them symmetrically. So I could put one, but I don't know if I like that. Or I am have a, a faux fireplace that I'm working on, I can put it on either side of that. So I was going to get a little flashlight and put it in here to light up so y'all could see the colors, but this is working out just fine. So yes, I'm so excited about this. I don't know if I'm going to leave it the oil rub bronze or if I'm going to rub and buff or spray paint all together. We'll see. But aren't these just fun? They're so fun. This one has a little bit of crack here in the back. Um, but that's okay. Once I clean it up and I think I can kind of like, since this is all, this is soft, this metal work is soft, I can fix that. So, and then the other one has a little bit, um, similar problem. So, yes. So that's the small hall and, um, yes, we're working on the cottage and I'm working on the pretty parts and some of the non-pretty parts, but hubby's planning. My prizes. So, there is this little cute item. And I can't remember which trip this was. This has, this is local. So this we must have picked out together. Um, so I thought this was so cute. I don't know if there was another piece, but it has some etching. All of this has to be cleaned up. It has some etching. I just thought it would be neat to put a little candle in here. Ugh. And I'm probably going to turn around trying to find places to put things carefully. Hopefully that's steady right there. So this she brought from her home, a little copper pitcher. Because I do believe copper will be going into the kitchen. And it has this little, um, I don't think it's brass because it's not heavy, but some sort of like brass colored gold colored metal. So this is very light. The whole piece is very light. Yes. And then this mirror. So lots of <laughs> Hello, there you are. So here is the um the metal work that's on the side, kind of like a basket weave. And then the back has, the back is like a corduroy. So a nice little vanity. 
tray mirror. Um, I don't know where I will use this, but I don't know like that it's necessarily going to go into a vanity. But um, and then here's on the inside, of course. Here's something I noticed. Sorry for the glare. The metal work here that you see from the top is finished and it looks much nicer than the metal work you see here. Which makes sense because if it's on a vanity, then you're looking down and you see it that way as opposed to the outer edge. So just a little observation. Okay. Still looking for safe places to put things. Um, she brought me some Christmas items. So it's a little pack of Christmas wreaths. Judy Pie for next year. Um, I do like to collect glass ornaments. So this is a purple and iridescent glass ornament. And see the loop. I guess it's a it's blown glass. There's a little loop on the end. Super sweet. Um Oh yeah, we picked these up together. This is a little um, partridge in a pear tree, and it's uh, the year is 1976. So I have a thing for 12 days of Christmas also, and I was born in 76, so yay. It's a cute little Christmas decoration. So we'll see, this might go like, you know, it's a little tea light holder, but I just thought it was really cute and bright. Out of season but that's okay and then there are these little metal uh, made in Taiwan one two three four five little gold angels I use gold in my tree and then this oh. well okay good thing that wasn't glass so this is a brass shell ornament it does have a stamp but I I don't know the mark so yes Gold goes in my tree. Very pretty. I like this seashell. I'm from Florida, so this was, what does this say? There's a, a year stamp in the bottom that says 1988, but then, I don't know. I don't know if I can catch it right. So it says 1988, but then I think it says 1889. So I don't know if this was like copied off of something from 1889 I don't know let's see metal crafters oh okay metal Virginia metal, metal crafters since 1890 so that's must be what that other stamp is 1890 so yay I like that so that would be for my tree This is really heavy. What is this? This is fun because I don't remember. I remember what's in here. I remember what we bought. Oh, this is a... Oh, this is an Avon. This is the base of an Avon dish. And I just have a thing for Avon dishes too. So this one has like little... has a floral motif. So this was probably like, you know... A cream or a lotion so I don't have a lid for it but that's okay it's really heavy All right, I'm gonna stop putting things in my lamps and then what is this that I saw this is heavy is this this might be glass or crystal oh I think I think this is this is crystal okay dr. Lori says not to ting glasses to like stop flicking but you know I don't know but I believe this is crystal I do not see a seam for like manufacturing I could be wrong but it's very heavy very heavy heavy so and there are some bubbles so I just needed it because it's pretty I'm not creating an avalanche situation. Okay. Okay. Just packing. Oh. Well, this is not meant 
vintage. This is not thrifting. It's a Starbucks cup that was supposed to go in somebody's stocking. Do you ever do that? Whoops. Okay, and then last item, Nana, my mom did bring this to me from Florida. Look how cute this little crate is. It's green. It says La Fleur. So that's super cute. This is probably, this needs to go on the porch. It is springtime and this needs to go on the porch. So I need to create a cute little vignette on the porch and do a video on that. So that is all. Finally, this will be all. Oh yes. Thank you so much for watching. I appreciate you um, taking the time to spend with me and I hope you have a great day. Bye-bye.